Yesterday I was with uh, Babu, who was a social worker and a political leader in our area in Indiranagar. As he was driving me around, he asked me, Guruji, you are talking on so many people from around the world and almost every day, who is collecting all those ideas, who is collecting <laughs> How are you able to speak so many things? That time I was thinking of the centipede. Centipede was walking gracefully and the fox calls to centipede and centipede. And the moment the fox called centipede, centipede said, Fox, you are cunning. Please do not come to talk to me. Fox said, please centipede, just allow me to ask you a question. So Sandeepit said, yes, what's a question? I was always worrying how you're walking with you with thousand legs. And Sandeepit, thousand legs? I never thought about it. And Fox says, one more question. Now, please tell me, which leg you put for right or left? And Sandeepit looked into his leg and seems Sandeepit collapsed and he was never able to walk. So if I look into what I am talking, Babu, <laughs> maybe I'll not be able to talk anymore. When you're climbing the mountain, do not turn back to look how far you've climbed, but only think ahead how far more you have to climb. Raffaello Sanziota Urbino, born on 28th March 1418 in Urbino, died on 6th April 1520 in Rome in the Papal States, known mononymously as Raphael, was a Italian painter and architect of the High Renaissance. His work is admired for its clarity of form, ease of composition, and visual achievements of the new Platonic ideal of human grandeur. Together with Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, he forms the tradition trinity of great masters of that period. Raphael or Sanzio da Urbino said, when one is painting, one does not think. If the human beings have understood that one thing, then there is no borrowed knowledge. Borrowed knowledge is slavery. Borrowed knowledge stops you from you exploring your talents. You don't have to even explore. Talents flows of its own. If all the men have understood this one thing, they could see the most beautiful ornament in the whole world that the wife's eyes, the nose and the ears. And you take the face like a moon in your hand. Yes. It's so beautiful. The secret of my school the eye sees it, but no hand can take hold of it. The moon in the stream, this is the secret of my school. Nobody can possess it, neither your borrowed knowledge. It is there for you to enjoy. And if you understand that physical beauty of your wife, and the wife understand the physical duty of the husband. Together they understand the children and the family. The family gets connected to joint family. It's a massive, big, netto, powerful. Stands tall like the family tree. When one is painting, one does not think like the India's music. People are all waiting and only after the people People are waiting, they bring the instruments, but in the pop music it is all well arranged. And it's a drama, just people walk in and they start off the music, yes. But in India it is not like that. It is just like the Japanese sumo, yes. <coughs> they bring the instruments one by one. In front of the public they check the tabla, the drums, the piano or the, uh, the other instruments what they play and they 
test it in front of the people. Yes. And then when they sing, they don't have to think. When one is painting, one does not think. Because the basic thing is so beautiful. You have created that soil so loosened up. And then you put the plant, the roots will, can run so beautifully. Oh, the plant grows and it is only, you don't have to think. The flowers and fruits is yours. The money is yours. Raffaello Sanzio da Urbino said, when one is painting, same on the students when you write your examination. When you go to study, you're well prepared with your uniform. You take your textbook. You arrange the textbook. You arrange the chapters in your mind and the expected questions what is going to come in your mind. All the painting materials are all ready. And when the bell goes, the painting happens of its own. You don't have to write. The answers happens of its own. Love making happens of its own. When the husband and the wife walk together in the park, holding hands and talking and chit-chatting and pinching and joking and uh, you have done you warming up. It is there with all the sports. But sports people have always have to have physiotherapists because that one monkey business they forgot is they forgot to do the warming up exercise. Not one or two warming up exercise. Now the challenge is why they get harder cardiac arrest. Please don't lift more weights. No, no, oh, you can lift anything. You can lift the whole world. You can lift the mountain also. Please don't use those languages. You are creating a defect in the society. If you do one hour warming up and you're stretching, Wow, and after you're all your heavy one hour, you can practice two full hours heavy, heavy punches in kicks or running or playing. At end, end, make sure again one hour of stretching. If you cannot do, don't go for sports. If you cannot spend that much time, don't go near your wife or husband. If you cannot do the warming up and the stretching, don't go to even touch the book, don't go to the plants. When one is painting, Raffaello sends you the Urbino said, one does not think, you don't have to think because the whole body flows. You have to only Enjoy the penetration. You have to really enjoy the orgasmic experience of the beauty of the colors which falls on the canvas which you have created. And the body is, the canvas is nude canvas. In the nude body, what all you can paint? Wow. Nature is such and God is such. When one is praying, one does not think. Raffaello Sensio the Urbino says, one is painting, one does not think. When one is thinking of God, when one is praying to God, when one is praying, one does not think. He is just praying because he loves, if he is Christian, he just loves Jesus. If he is a Hindu, he loves Krishna. Why? No questioners. Whether Krishna is some Brahmana Shatri, well, no, he just plain love. When we are a Muslim, he's just in love with Prophet Muhammad. Allah enters, he becomes the Prophet. If everybody understands that, nobody can invade you because you are the world, you are the ocean and the taste of you anywhere in the world is the same like the rivers and the lakes falls on the different different stones and then at the end they go to the sea you become a light to give light to others you have to burn 